Welcome to Universal Marina on the south coast of England. I'm here today to film this beautiful stealer. I've just made a walkthrough video for my main channel, Yacht Boy, but in this video, I want to show you some of my favorite features on board this boat, starting with that bow. I love the vertical angle of the bow. To me, it suggests that this boat means business. You can imagine this thing cutting through the big waves. She really stands out in this marina as well in terms of the actual air draft of the boat. I love her stunning sleek profile. Really gives her a sense of class and sophistication. On the starboard side, you have the access door into the pilot's house. Again, a really good feature, especially if you're operating this boat on your own or as a couple. Step aboard now via the swim platform. In here we have the garage uh, for the Williams tender, which I think for a boat of this size, having a tender garage stowed away in the transom, I think it's a really, really nice feature. I love the seating arrangement here, ideally set up for social occasions, whether you're bringing your family on or your friends on, or whether you're going cruising long distance or literally just out for a day trip. That's a really good configuration. Again, there's lots of space out here, lots of seating. Be interested to know if you were sat out here, where would be your favorite place to sit and why? Let me know in the comments. For me, it'd probably be here because I like to take advantage of the shade offered by the overhang here on the coach roof. Uh, let's take you inside. We've got the saloon, uh, really spacious. One of the features that I really like about this saloon is the amount of glass in here, the size of the windows. When you're actually sat on the helm position, and I'm gonna jump on there now for you to give you an idea of the sort of views you can actually get. This big, comfortable captain's chair. But look at the view. Literally, I can look aft, get a good view aft, coming all the way around along the port side. But one of my standout features in the saloon in terms of the windows here is the size of that pane of glass. I mean, look at that. There's no stanchions there, so you get a completely uninterrupted view directly forward. Panning round to the starboard side, there's the inside of the access door there. But again, you get a great view all around. Helm station, I love this sporty wheel. Over on the port side here, you've got the two VHF radios, uh, Dockmate remote control uh, for when you are operating the vessel, uh, maybe as a, as a couple, and you want to step outside and get a good vantage point, you can control the boat uh, with that dock mate. Uh, you've got the bow and stern hydraulic thrusters there. Uh, the owner is telling me, I mean, this is obviously a steel boat, um, so she weighs quite a bit. The owner was telling me that the hydraulic bow and stern thrusters on here are really powerful. Uh, and when it's windy, there's not a lot of movement from the boat, but obviously she's still susceptible to the movement of the tide. So the bow and the stern thruster on here, really powerful and really help to keep the boat exactly where you want it to be. Uh, look at the throttle control levers as well. Fantastic. Got a Simrad suite up here. Let's jump off. I think it's great as well. You've got a, a seating area over on the port side of the uh, helm chair. You know, as you're navigating to your next destination, it's great that you can have your friends and family set up here uh, whilst you're keeping a control on the navigation and the engine controls, uh, but also still able to chat to your friends. Uh, down here under the helm position, uh, we've got the start and stop for the port and starboard engines, and we'll go in the engine room in a second. I really like the indirect lighting all around this boat. Uh, obviously it's the afternoon at the moment, so you can still see the effects of the indirect lighting, but I'd love to be back on here at night time uh, to see how she's all lit up. Just show you again quickly the saloon before we head 
down into the accommodation areas through this really, really nicely crafted stairwell. It's great in here because the height, I mean, look, I've got about three foot of space of headroom above me. Um, we're looking up here, you can see the helm position. Got some glass over here on the port side, but this bit here is all open. So it really encourages a unified living experience. Uh, you've got the guest accommodation up forward. Again, very nicely lit. And you can use these doors to partition this off as and when needed. Obviously you've got a telly over here. But yeah, I love the fact as well, you've got a workspace over here on the starboard side. Uh, if you're a digital nomad like myself, you can go on long range cruises uh, whilst at the same time still doing some work. If you still need to work, that is. Coming down into the main accommodation on the starboard side, we've got a nice shower and head, very roomy, very spacious. I love the use of space here, the way that they've obviously managed to get the cabinetry under the sink. Very spacious sink as well, but also some additional cabinetry up there. Standard salute. Pull my Matlow oppos that might be watching. Uh, over on the port side, a twin single cabin. Again, very spacious and lots of storage space for all your gear. Nice touch with the reading lights as well. Also got another reading light down here. Now, join me as I head into the full beam master suite. Probably worthwhile taking my sunglasses off. And here we go. So obviously over on the starboard side, we've got the entrance into the engine room. I'll take you in there in just a second. Elevated bed here. As I say, this cabin is full beam. Midships as well, so the best place to be on the boat in terms of when you're underway. It's got the least amount of movement in here. Uh, when things get a bit choppy but again look at the lighting it's such a high quality feel in here really nice finish um, the level of craftsmanship and just the level of detailing in here is really impressive uh, lots of storage space in here and uh, i got some more space in there i guess you could almost call that a walk-in wardrobe certainly by my standards you could um, Yours might be different, but uh, yeah, I'd, I'd class it as a walk-in wardrobe. Over here, we have the toilet, which is separate from the shower. I think that's a nice touch. You know, personally, uh, you know, if I was on this uh, boat with my wife, I think it's nice to have a separate toilet uh, from the shower. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Let's have a look in the shower. Again, you've got a seat here, so things get a little bit choppy. You can still sit down and have a shower in what I would call a wet room. Because really, the size of this, I think it doesn't do it justice to call it a shower. I'd call that a wet room. Uh, let's come over here and have a look in the engine room. I was really impressed by this engine room. When I first came on board this boat and saw the doors that led, obviously, into the engine room, I thought the engine room is going to be small. I mean, this is a twin engine. But let me show you just how big the engine room is. Uh, and this is why it's one of my favorite features. Look at that. Uh, really well lit as well, uh, considering obviously there's no natural light in here. Fantastic lighting. You can get access to both engines, both Cummins engines, uh, walking around by the companion way. More of the ship's essential systems over here. But yeah, if you need to get over onto the port engine, just step on here. And here we are over on the uh, on the port side. And if you really need to, you can get over on that companion way as well. Uh, got a whisper power generator over there. Fuel polishing system. Reverso oil change system here. And by the way, you might be thinking, well, hang on. If you want to get into the engine room, 
then the only way is through the master cabin, but you're wrong because we have got a door over there that leads out onto the swim platform. So yeah, there's two, uh, there's two points of access in here. Uh, not only is that really good for safety, uh, but obviously in terms of practicality as well, there's another way for engineers to get into the engine room for a service or whatever you might be doing if you're on board uh, with your partner. So yeah, let me know uh, which parts of this boat are your favorite in the comments below. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to see the full Yacht Tour video, then head over to my other channel, Yacht Boy. I'll leave a link for that channel in the video description. I'd like to say a huge thank you to the owner of this beautiful boat for letting me come on and do this filming. Uh, it's been a great honor to be on here on my own. And like I say, I really would like to say a big thank you. If you've got access to a boat you'd like me to feature on this channel, then make sure you get in contact with me. You can find my contact details in the video description. I'll leave my email address on the screen now. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.